Happy New Year's guys! Today, super quick video. We're just gonna go over uh, my Strava year in sport. I guess it will be a good way to do a little recap of uh, training and racing and everything that happened in uh, 2021. So uh, the video I think of the recap is about three minutes so it's gonna be a super quick one. I'm gonna do it live with you guys and uh, see what I did in uh, 2021. So uh, let's do it. Here we go. You're in sport. Now it's loading. I guess the good good sign if it's loading a lot. So year in sport 2021. So we start first activity of 2021. What is it? Cross country skiing with Camille. So 23 kilometers, 2.5 hours. I actually made a video of uh, this cross country ski um, activity. You can go watch it. I'll link it uh, in the video description. So second one, total day active. How much? 331. So that's 34 day without doing any sports. So I guess most of them were um, <clears throat> during traveling. I think um, pretty much all of them, if, uh, <laughs> if, I, if I think back. Next one, longest streak. 89 days in a row. That was during the lockdown uh, season. It was between February 14 to May 13. Um, actually May 14, I was flying to Gravel Local, the first gravel race of the year. And uh, in February 14, that's that's when I came back in, in Canada because of the, the very strict uh, lockdown. Top sport, I'm not sure what it's gonna be. <laughs> So cycling is at 79%, strength work is at 14%, hiking 2% and 5% for all the other sports. So other sports are pretty much cross country skiing and running. Next one, fastest activity speed. Pretty sure this one's gonna be a criterium. So 48K an hour, uh, gateway crit day one. So th th this crit was crazy because it was so fast, but also like all in the dark. Like you see here, start time, nine hours and 47 p.m. It's actually the latest crit I did in my life. So the fastest and the latest. I think I got to sleep at like 2 a.m. after that with the caffeine and everything. Super fast crit, super dangerous crit with the dark. Um, there were some sections in that crit that you didn't see anything at all. So next one fastest activity pace so this must be running 417 3.4 kilometers that's actually not long ago i did this workout it's a running workout uh, i was running uphill just after a cycling workout that i was working on max power next one achievements okay so that's the kom and the local legend so 127 koms and 107 local legend. Is that good? I guess 127 KOM is pretty good. Tell me in the comment if you know someone or have a friend that has more uh, than that. I will be, uh, I'd be interested and uh, I, will, I will follow him on Strava. That's a promise. <laughs> and if it's you, I'll follow you on Strava. So next one, total time. 1,038 hours. The longest month was July. I did 106 hours. Oh, total time in 2020, a little bit more. So 1,100 hours. That's kind of easily explained. So with the, the, the racing, you can actually do less training because you have to recover a little bit more. So because we didn't have racing in 2020, it makes sense that I did a little bit more time on the bike in 2020. Next one, coldest activity. Which one is that? Minus 13, pretty sure it was colder than that. So that's the 100 kilometers I did uh, all on snow, all on fat bike single track. That was actually so fun. Shout out to Alexandre Vial, one of my best uh, buddy, pro mountain biker, should follow him on Instagram. Yeah, we did that at the end of the fat bike season. So. Uh, the day before it was over zero 
And during the night, it was super cold. So the fat bike trail it just got like super hard pack. And my fat bike was um, getting fixed at the bike shop because I broke my chain and my cassette. So I just took my gravel bike and did the 100K in uh, the single track just uh, as, as fast as I could. It was actually not, like not that hard physically, but mentally, like all single track on snow on a gravel bike is like super sli slippery. So uh, yeah, this one was really challenging. I also have a video on this uh, challenge. If you want to go see it, it's an older one. <laughs> Next one, total distance. Uh, 23,686 kilometers. The longest month was also July, a little bit less than in 2020. I guess that's mostly explained by how much gravel bike and mountain biking I did this year. I actually uh, went to uh, check it out um, so you guys uh, know exactly how much kilometers I made. So I have it right here on my little paper. So I did a little bit more than 7,000 kilometers on the gravel bike. I did a little bit more than 2,000 kilometers on the mountain bike, a little bit less than 3,000 kilometers on the fat bike and uh, 426 kilometers on the tandem with Camille, and the rest was either on the road bike or the TT bike. So that explains why maybe a little less distance, you know, it's uh, <laughs> it's way slower, uh, not too much on the gravel bike, but for sure mountain bike and fat biking. Longest activity, that's easy, that's uh, the Défi Bonneville, so that's uh, pretty much all gravel, gravel 80% gravel, uh, I did that like super well support. So I had the uh, Cami and Alexandra, the, the photographer. I actually made a video on, on that uh, challenge also. I will link it in the video description. So I had the full car support so I could grab bottle from the car, grab food from the car. But this it was still a long day. So 403 kilometers, 80% gravel. It took me just over 15 hours of total time and just under 15 hours of uh, moving time. I hold the record for now. So if you want to beat it, go try it. I would very like someone to go for it. So next one, total kudos. Um, I receive 45,000 kudos. So thank you very much, everyone. Um, I, I really value uh, all you guys that are liking the activity and especially commenting. I read all the comment on Strava. So uh, thank you very much. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And the most kudos activity is uh, Big Sugar. I have a video on this one. Big Sugar is my first win, my first big win on a gravel race. So um, I guess that's fitting for, for the most kudos. Thank you, guys. Uh, total elevation. So did I do a lot of climbing? How, this, how do I say this number in English? So 369,000. 275 meters is that a lot I, I i guess that's a lot i'm not sure will that be a lot if i did 23,000 kilometers i'm actually curious to know what's like uh, the average per kilometer that that'd be cool to calculate if you want to put that in a comment yeah and tell me if that's a lot of climbing for the amount of distances i did um helios activity that must be also the same thing so yeah 5,000 meters that's the Defi uh, Bonneville again, the 400 kilometers on gravel. Top photos. So first one is the picture that I posted just after I won Big Sugar. Second one is <laughs> the one I'm like the reckless I ever was. So uh, just after passing out on the line at the Gravel Loco, my first gravel race. I'm so excited about Gravel Loco 2022. Um, it really holds a special place in my heart. It was the first gravel race I ever did and uh, I'll remember this race forever with the rain and everything. It's actually my most viewed video. So if you want to, to go see that, it will be linked also in the video. There's going to be a lot of video link in the, in the description. And third one was the result sheet of SBT gravel. I mean, SBT is also an amazing race. The scenery is like Probably the thing you remember the most about this race, like it's so beautiful. Like at one point we were riding like super technical track, but I was not able to stay focused on the track because some wild horses were like going uh, on the side of us. I actually have a video also of 
this race a race recap so it's gonna be in the description go check it out so that's pretty much it so if we go just a little bit uh, a review so total day active 331 total time just over 1000 hours total distance 23,686 kilometers and total elevation 369,275 meters so um yeah that's pretty much it for the recap of the year i'm just gonna take this time to uh, thank you for being here in 2021 um it was an amazing year and uh, the channel will grow and everything so that was good and uh, i'm sure 2022 is just gonna be better so um Thank you guys. Um, I wish you a great 2022. And as usual, take care of yourself by making the most optimal choice in every moment and do the same. Take care of the ones you love. Happy New Year.